Welcome all my fellow and feature allies on the NAK KWG got another great opening for you today. We're opening up something I've never actually opened up before. While I've opened up 2017 Mega Packs, I've never actually opened up a 2017 Mega Tin. And Kaiba beckons. Look at him. He's sitting there. He's too big also too big for the camera. But he's there. Look, he's here there he is. There's his face. Alright, I'm Kaiba. But yeah, we're gonna open up a Kaiba Tin today, as well as some blister packs, some loose packs, you know, maybe pull a Starlight or a Quarter Century or a Collector Rare or something. We got two Power of the Element, two Tactical Master, two Dimension Force. We got some extra Dimension Force loose packs. We got like, what, 10 or 8 Blazing Vortex, three Dawn of Majesty, <laughs> Star of Starlight, and two Rising Rampage. Unfortunately, unlimbed, so no chance for Starlights, but I throw man, why not? But I also got some giveaways for this one. It's a nice one. We're going to give away the packs that Gop gave us for the Phantom Darkness box bo booster box opening box booster booster box. We got two circuit break packs and three grand creator first editions. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff below. Let me know what your favorite poll was. And uh, let me open up these blisters first real quick and uh, get our timeline set. And then we'll get right into this. One sec. Alrighty, everybody. We got our timeline set. Let's go through our packs. And then the tin will be the main event. I know 2017 Mega Packs don't have anything any, anything too crazy in them, but I think Totally Awesome is probably the best card in there. I actually have to look real quick, but, you know, let's open it up. Kaiba beckons. He demands. He says, screw the rules. I want to be opened. And I don't know if you're... Oh, yeah, this is Dimension 4, so you definitely just get a super in every pack. Super in every pack. That's the way it goes. I can't remember if anything in this set's even valuable anymore. I'm just kind of hoping we get a shiny card. Primitive Planet Rykophobia. Isn't that actually a really good card? Or am I thinking of, uh, no, I'm thinking of Power of the Elements, Primitive, whatever the fuck it is. The super good secret rare. That's like 30 bucks still, something like that. It actually hasn't gotten too many printings, surprisingly, like everything else. It probably will in Rarity Collection and some other side set. Scare, Claw, Slash, Crow, Tengu, Symphonic Warrior, Guitarist. They just, I just, I love it. It's literally a guitar playing guitar. You know, I feel like somehow that's... In a world full of where guitars are people, if you're doing that, if you're holding another person, using them as an instrument, that's kind of weird. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. Unless it's meant to be like a puppet doll, like a vin ventriloquist, that kind of deal, a mannequin. I'm going way too deep into this. Also, that card was called the Weather Report. They just don't give a shit anymore, do they? Orochi, musical sumo dice games. <laughs> that's the best card name. Best card name. I want to play some dice games with sumo wrestlers so when I beat them, they get pissed and fucking squash me. Therion, Heroic Challenger. I definitely don't want that. Scareclaw Arrival. This set is not performing so well right now. We're one for like eight. Something like that. Dimension Force. Give us something with force. Skeletal Dragon Felgrim. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is some force. Actually, I think this is actually a decent card. Actually, actually. 28, 20, 100. I do love that fucking design. That looks badass. Don't worry, I'm getting a new light that's softer. So it's not like, it'll be bright, but not so bright that it's not, you know, just stupid glares on every card that I don't need it on. Taito, ugh, I forgot how crazy that card looks. It's basically five-headed dragon, reborn with like lesser attack and other effects that I refuse to read and I'm not gonna. Rising Rampage, can we pull a secret rare Appaloosa? That'd be pretty cool. We haven't opened up this set in quite a while. Battle Wrestler, Tenyi Nahata, I close. I do like the way that card looks. She looks a little bit sadistic. And as long as the biddies aren't like too slutty, they can be a little bit. You know, show some thigh. I'm fine with that. But for the most part, I just want them to look a little bit crazy with like a scythe. Is that so much to ask? Maybe this says more about me. Witchcraft or Golem of Pearl. We actually pulled this ah! secret rare. Okay. Out of two facts. And I love this card. It's so annoying. Anything happens to a spellcaster, here I come. Here I come. Here I'm coming. Ignore that one. I'm talking about her. She's coming down to the field, of course. That's what I mean. God, get your mind out of the gutter. Delicious water. So far, we're what, like 3 for 12? Not too bad. These pulls are going pretty good. I don't think we pulled anything extravagant, but um, Pot of Prosperity. Gidara. I do like the way that dragon looks. He does look cool. He could be like a serpent more than a dragon. He kind of looked like he was made of Legos a little bit. Oh, God. Come on, Pot of Prosperity. When there's Pot to be pulled, you're the only one left that I never did. Arm Dragon, we got oh, another Ultra Rare. At least our pull rates are pretty fucking good right now. We can't complain. We're seeing Hollows. We're seeing Shinies. None of them are like, you know, majestic. Possibly like a majestic Starlight Star Dragon again. Caduceus. 
He's been useful in so many games I've played. Also, not using that card. Fuck that. Uh-uh. That's math. And I'm not about that right now. Gold, gold, gone, 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 gone. Gold, gone, gone. Gold, he gone, gone. He gone, girl. Gold, gone. She gold? I'll shut up now. As for Spriggan's Rocky, Metal Foes, white baking. Oh my god, I am white and I am baking mac and cheese. That's me tomorrow. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Makena, guitar, more guitars, all the guitars, Thunder Dragon, level five. All right, Blazing Vortex, you started off, you know, you gave us something and then you took it all away. Let's see that pot, even in Secret Rare. It'd be bittersweet at this point, but it would still make me happy. I almost knocked it over. Fortia, War Rock. Are they ever gonna give War Rock any support ever again? Probably not. I don't see it happening. I'm not interested. Actually, not likely. We got something? Oh, I'm Dragon Flash. I don't know how and why I knew, but I knew. Okay, two for 10, two for eight, something like that. That's not too bad. Pull rates are good. None of them are great, but good pull rates. Not a majesty. What's up? How's it been? How you been? How's it been? How's it been going? Uh, you wanna show me another, show me, you wanna show me another Shiny cards. No, that's not the one we want. That's the card I refuse to say because I'll get demonetized before I'm even monetized. We'll get there. We're getting close. We're creeping. Chronomaly. Dramaturge and Despio. I pull this every time. Every time. But it's still an ultra rare out of three pass because Donna Match D cannot just, like, it has to give me something. Honestly, these pull rates are pretty fucking good. If these were newer sets and there were good cards, we, you know, we'd probably be. Jumping for joy right now. I forgot that card existed. Monster assortment. I have an assortment of pocket monsters. I promise they're called Pokey Mains. Not Pokemons. Runic Golden Droplet. That might actually be a dollar because some of the Runic cards have gone up a little bit. But I'm wrong. Also, Tactical Masters. I still don't understand why sometimes it's the super is the second card. And sometimes it's not. Freezing Curses. Well, this time... You did not give us a Droll and Lockbird, at least. That's what I was hoping for. That's all I wanted. Just a birdie that's worth, like, three to four bucks. Power of the Elements. Last two packs, and then we're going to the main event. Hope you all enjoyed. This isn't a super crazy opening, but just some nice packs. And we've had some good pulls today. Can we finish off another Sprite Blue, maybe? Nope. Empress Alazia. Brilliant Rose. Goatee Chain. That's okay. We only got two blisters, so I'm not expecting, like, miracles. Sprite Smashers, the most distant, deepest. Okay. When I say I'm not expecting miracles, that doesn't mean you give me the same fucking super rare that's yuck fuck in my goddamn, like, presence. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I'm so irritated by those last three packs. That was disgusting. How dare you. But we got six pulls so far. Not too bad, honestly. I'd say, like, a solid seven overall. It's just the pulls themselves aren't worth too much. But let's open up our Mega Tin. And it's got some promos back when they actually put promos in the Mega Tins. You remember that? When they put promos in Mega Tins? They stopped doing that a while ago. Oh my god, Blue Eyes is one of them. Even back then, the packs were uh -oh. cool. Look at that. And they were sealed properly. What do we got for our promos here? Even though they're double sealed. That's how much they cared back in 2017. That's because they stopped doing ghost rares like fools. Proxy Dragon, Pot of Desire, Sweet, Santa Fa, the Sky Prison, and Entis, and a token. Oh, 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 the sexiest token of all. Right behind the Ojama token. 2017 Mega 10. Let me look this up real quick so I can actually know what to get excited about. Well, <laughs> look at this. There's not much. Cosmic Cyclone is the best card, and it's about seven bucks. So. The ceiling is forever. It's, the sky's the limit. Hopefully we just pull something. You know, Blue Eyes, First Dragon, Foolish Burial Goods, totally awesome, something like that. It might be that reprints have killed the value of most of the set, but you know, maybe there's something. Magical Mid, Field Breaker, Field, Field Breaker, Metal Close Combination. Well, that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool. At least it's being gracious. Here's the second best card in the set. That's about six bucks right there. Okay, okay, I can't complain. That's funny. Electric Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, if that can be a delight. I know something. This is my favorite card. They just, that's when you know they just stopped giving a shit. 
Light Storm Judgment. I feel like I've never seen that card. I don't think I ever have. I would remember that artwork. I would have. All right, can we pull a Cosmic this time and then Blue Eyes? Just get the best three cards. Make this the best 10 it could have been. Technically would have been true. Magician Brew, Bug Emergency. Probably not back then though. Drowning the Art Force, that's okay. <coughs> Zodiac. And Summon Gate. Blackwing, Tornada, bad aim. That's usually me, that's why I use remote mines. And I know we we're coming around that corner and I got one ready for you. And if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Play for Twin Raptor. Okay, last pack. Yuck, yuck. yuck. Paleozoic, Zodiac Sign. Kino Bird Pro, Metal Pose, 30 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Pose Fusion. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, like, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's actually hilarious. Double on the second best card in the set. You can't complain. They were both in the same tin, too. That's weird and kind of scary. Alright, there was actually someone at the door. I had to get that real quick. But, alright, back to where I was. Uh, Double Foolish Burial Goods. That was hilarious. I'll take that any day. That was both in one tin. What the hell? Dark Contract. Metal Pose. Shirinui style Simsara, Tristron Rosenix, Lusilisaniosaurus, oh god, that was fucking rough. Fairy Tail Rella, Beacon of White, Frightful Sanctuary. Honestly, above average opening. Nothing too crazy, but good pull rate the entire time. And we pulled two of the second best cards in the Mega Tins from 110 for some reason. That's why I need a softer light so I can stop doing that. It's just, it's too bright. But we'll get there. I'm improving little by little. But I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget that sub, that bell, that like. 30 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Road to 1,000. And, uh, yeah. See you later.